What is up, fellas? JPS delivers here. Uh, David Akers setting back up to kick a nice field goal. This is the beginning. No fantasy franchise this time. This is Madden 2007. Thoughts and make something different. We are going to have a Houston Texans franchise. We're going to try to rebuild this team. See if uh, we can do anything, you know, to make them any better than uh, we just played on that fucking defensive possession right there. Nice run by the fullback on the little fullback sneak. Um, playing the Eagles here in week one at home. Uh, just David Carr, pretty good quarterback. Uh, I don't think career-wise not a pretty good quarterback. But um, uh, maybe we could, you know, ratings-wise in this game, wasn't able to uh, get any improvements when it came to his uh, attributes and stuff come training camp. But fortunately enough, we made some nice moves. Um, pretty much trade away some older players that were some of the best players on our team except for you know get a you got to keep your running back he's 25 years old if he's 90 overall and that's uh dominique davis and that should have been a fucking touchdown i mean come on man pass right there to pilzer and then fullback cook for the touchdown on there but in all honesty i mean this houston team really really young you have the first overall pick and mario williams in this year starting as a rookie Going up against a really impressive uh, offensive line for this Eagles team. Nice little run there by Don McNabb, but looking forward to it. Um, definitely, I mean, I'll have to show the roster moves we made. But already, we're suffering from injuries, so fucking go figure right there. At least David Carr isn't injured, uh, even though it would be nice to get the first overall pick right here. And, and speaking of pick, should have picked that off. And what do you know? Right away, just... Uh, Long touchdown. This defense is definitely something to have to improve upon, even though it kind of seems like their defense might be a little bit more promising than the offense, even though we do have the likes of Dominique Davis right there, who does have an impressive, you know, dual threat ability in this game, at least. And especially at this time, do catch like 50 passes in a fucking season. But this defense, um, pretty, pretty, uh, all right, but they're young. You know, got Dante Davis or Dante Robinson. Um, at cornerback, you got D'Amico Ryans at outside linebacker, even though he did make the move to middle linebacker to start off uh, a pr what was pretty good career, even though it didn't last all too long. And there you go. Nice little pass right there by Donovan McNabb. Not necessarily the pass as much as uh, they're getting quite a bit of broken tackles. This team, yeah, right here, Brian Westbrook. Turned into a power running back for some reason. I don't know. But, eh, I mean, I guess you could say he's pretty agile dude dude's like one of the best pass catchers we've seen at uh, running back like ever honestly but dude's a fucking beast okay but uh, in all honesty we did uh, we did pretty well against this team i know right there like on the fourth down didn't uh, show all too well right there on the sack but um nice little play on the punt though never show punts unless something's gonna happen of course and then uh, something happened right there nice little catch by Andre Johnson. We did trade wide receiver Eric Moulds, um, veteran like stud wide receiver Eric Moulds. He's like 87 overall and we traded him in a piece to get a young Roddy White. So now David Carr is set up. I mean 27 year old David Carr. I mean if anything pops up and we can trade him to get a better uh, younger quarterback. I'm down with that. But um, I'm kind of curious to see what we could do here. Uh, with, and this is like the first fucking time I've ever chased down a dude in this situation. Jesus Christ. But um, still, this offense is running pretty smooth for the most part. I mean, able to pass the ball decently well. Helps having Andre Johnson even at like, what, 23 or 24 at this point. Dude's just a straight-up beast. Setting him up to try to get, you know, somewhere around 1,200 yards in the season and stuff like that. And uh, speaking of guys, definitely going to get more than 1,200 all-purpose yards. Brian Westbrook for the touchdown, and they get the conversion here. 21 all, um, leave it to us, and le yeah, right there. Again, just my timing fucking up at wide receiver. Not a good pass by any means at all, but still, though, just didn't have good timing. And look at this shit. Jesus Christ. I'm glad that Polk came through and fucking lit his ass up after that play, but Jesus Dude's just breaking tackles. Even their backup running backs doing a good job breaking tackles. The fourth down, 54-yard attempt by David Akers. The dude's a beast. I mean, he's already made two, I believe, at this point in the game. 
And then he sinks it through. Kicks good. 24-21. Then Philip Buchanan, one of the faster dudes in all of Madden at this point. He's like 97 speed. Nice return right there to about the 49-yard line. And then setting up on this play. Uh, whew. A sack right there. Third and 20. Where are we going to go with this one? I mean, I throw it out to Andre Johnson. Kind of, you know, kind of strafe right there to beat the uh, cornerback to get wide open but we got to make a stop here third down Don McNabb backs up is he going to be able to get the oh he does get rid of the ball but he throws it horribly inaccurate on that pass and then there you go wide open is the fullback cook that's a holy shit is that man alive all right apparently he is but Dominic Davis nice move to the outside I believe he went to LSU is that correct yeah I think so and Andre Johnson, no, going to be incomplete. But still, man, it's kind of like the reflexes on some of these uh, play actions. And there you go, a holding penalty. That's a, one of the rookies we got in trades. Um, traded like an 85-year-old, but he was like, you know, 30, 32 years old, um, 85 overall. Might as well just get the guy who's a, you know, promising rookie left guard and uh, Latouille or something like that. Luatwai or something, whatever. Some Samoan lineman that ends up, pr uh, pretty sure he ended up playing for the Niners teams that um, Colin Kaepernick and them went to the Super Bowl and lost the Ravens. Um, you know, only uh, only for the lights to go out before they uh, crumbled down and lost to him. Got a minute 30 here. We're in the red zone. I mean, not only the red zone, but first and goal. David Carr back. To oh, nicely done. The man's not fast whatsoever but he pulls some Matt Ryan type like Tom Brady run and he gets in the end zone 28 to 24 this Eagles team I don't know how he caught that ball but it, you know I thought it was incomplete because of fourth down but apparently not fourth and three here we go trying to get down the field is Brian Westbrook he barely gets down there and then here we go Don McNabb you can tell it's just like that you can tell right away with the quarterback's kind of under duress and he immediately tries to run with it and then I thought this was going to be game Phil Buchanan drops the interception I did change my sliders a little bit to where you know interceptions aren't going to be nearly as common but still and god look at that fucking face mask as well isn't or no it was defensive pass interference so even if it wasn't caught the ball would have been down the field but a little, man, seven or so yards down but try to go for the pick Ends up becoming a SWAT, and it's going to be second and 10. 26 seconds left. Eagles, Don McNabb trying to get one last bit of a push, but again, just he had all the time in the world. I don't know why. He did that a couple times. And a pass out. Nice SWAT. That would have been easily a touchdown if not yet. But here it is. Last bit, last chance to get this settled with. Fourth and seven. Nine seconds left, and I thought that was going to be a pick six. Buchanan definitely uh, definitely was in position. There's no way he's going to be caught anyways. Even if the dude was, you know, was a fucking linebacker in that situation. There's no way. But there you go. We're over here talking about getting rebuilds and uh, Philadelphia Eagles come to town. That's an impressive Philadelphia team led by Donovan McNabb at quarterback. McNabb didn't really look that good to be honest with you. That man was fucking pumped up because I'm pretty sure um, he was responsible for two passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown at the end on that play action. But there you go. They got more yards than us. They were way better on the ground. Kind of seemed like they were just running those sweeps really, really well. And Brian Westbrook probably had like 10 broken tackles at least in that one. He had quite a bit of yards after contact. But there you go, 215 yards. We don't give a shit about the completion. It's Madden on the PlayStation 2, folks. We don't give a shit. He ran pretty well. I think Dominic Davis did. Um, Andre Johnson, of course. Impressive game. Five catches, 113 yards, two touchdowns. We'll get Davis a little bit more involved throughout the year. Uh, maybe a couple more catches per game. But definitely going to try to utilize um, Roddy White. Owen Daniels is there as a rookie. But we do have better tight ends up ahead of him. Even though one of them is definitely a blocking tight end. The dude's fucking speed is 56. I'm pretty sure it's slower than some of the linemen we have on this team. But um, I'm really curious to see what we could do with our offensive line. Because we traded to get Barron uh, from the Rams. for uh, We used one of our left tackles. And uh, he got injured. So 
go figure on that one to uh, start things off. But we do have a younger offensive line now. We got Nick Mangold, just you know, figured to trade a 92 overall center who was like 30 or so years old. Get a young Nick Mangold, dude's like 99 overall in Madden 2012. Totally worth it. So looking forward to this franchise. Always, fellas, be grateful for everything that comes to you, and see you next video.